Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about using modules in Ruby. Now, a module is basically just a container where we can store groups of methods. So as you start programming more and more in Ruby and as your programs get more and more complicated, you're going to want to organize all the different methods that you're using. So a lot of times in a Ruby script, you're going to be writing out a bunch of different methods that are going to do different things and you know, they'll have different tasks. And one thing we can do is we can take methods that are doing similar things or that should be grouped together and we can put them inside something called a module. So over here, I have this file open. It's called usefultools.rb. And in here, I've defined a module. So I'm just going to open this up and you'll see inside of this module, I just said module and then tools. So whenever we create a module, you can create it by saying module. And generally, you're going to want to give modules a name with a capital letter. So you need to do that. And down here, uh, I have two methods inside of this module. I have a method called say hi, and it says hi to a user. And I have one called say bye, same thing, you give it a name and it says goodbye. So this is a very, very simple module. But the module is essentially just storing these methods inside of it. And this basically acts as a container for us to organize our methods and sort of keep them in a nice clean little container. So if I wanted to use the methods that were inside this module, the first thing I have to do is just come down here and say include. And now I just want to type the name of the module so I can say tools. Now, if I wanted to access the methods inside of the tools module, I could just say tools dot. And now I can type out the method name. So I could type out tools dot say hi. We can pass it my name and now it's going to say hi to me. So it'll say, hello, Mike, you can do the same thing for say bye. So I'm able to store these different methods inside of this tools module and then I can access them just by referring to the name tools and then the method name. So modules are useful for really two reasons. The first reason is because they allow us to organize our methods a lot better. So if you have a bunch of methods, you can put them inside of a module and then they're just sort of like organized in their own separate container. Uh, the other thing that makes these useful is we can use this name. So I can give a module the name and then I can basically say like over here, I want to call the say by method inside of the tools module, or I want to call the say hi method inside of the tools module. It basically gives all of these methods like it gives them a namescape. So this is the say by method inside of the tools module it basically allows you to, you know, refer to these different methods um, inside of a particular namescape. And that can be really useful. So for example, I could have a say hi method inside of the tools module and I could have a say hi method inside of like another module and I'd be able to use both of them in the same program. So modules are extremely useful and this is how you can use a module in the same file. So I declared this module up here and I was able to use it in the same Ruby file. But a lot of times you're going to want to use these modules in other files. So for example, I have this draft.ruby file over here. Imagine that I wanted to use all the functionality from the tools module inside of this file. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. The first thing we need to do is we need to actually like require this file. So there's a keyword in Ruby. It's called require and we can type out require and then we can type in the name of a file and we'll be able to basically like grab all the information uh, and bring it into our file. And actually there's a command called require relative and this is what I'm going to use. Require relative will basically allow you to input a file name relative to the current file. So you notice over here in my file tree, I have this draft.ruby file open and Ruby tools or these this useful tools files in the same directory. So if I use require relative, I can just type out the name of that file. So I can just say useful tools.rb. And basically this is just like telling Ruby that we're going to use something that's inside of this file. So we need to require it. And now what I want to do is I want to include tools. So I'm going to do the same thing we did over there in that other file, but just inside of here. So if we run this draft.rb file now, essentially we're going to have access to this tools module. So I could come down here and I could say tools dot say hi, and we could say like Mike, and now this is going to run that tools module. But 
we didn't actually define the module inside of this file. We defined it over here. So this is something that's really useful in Ruby. You can basically define a bunch of these different modules and then you can include them into different files and you'll be able to use all the functionality inside of those modules. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.